And Lucky Lance, you're ready for more. More pawns of action. Can you believe it? There's even more pawns are coming. Uh, I am Lucky Lance. Lance is my given name. And my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore is how we spell it. Uh, that is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, and MTGA. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. You can also subscribe if you'd like. I'd appreciate that. And if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe on there. I'd appreciate that as well. Uh, I mostly play the modern format. I play five decks currently. I don't know if I'm going to add any more in my repertoire anytime soon. Probably not because there's no paper magic, so I'm not really too into that right now. Uh, but I play Jund, Boros Burn, Humans, Grixis Death Shadow, and what you see here, Gruul Ponza Midrange. Uh, Gruul Ponza Midrange might be my favorite, I'm not sure. Jund is a very close second, and honestly I like all five, that's why I play them. I like all five of them. Uh, this one is really fun, the Ponza. Uh, so yeah, I mostly just focus on modern. Uh, let's get the weather report for you guys, I know how much you enjoy hearing about the weather of uh, Ravensdale. There we go. Weather for Ravensdale conditions are sunny with a temperature of 79 degrees Fahrenheit. I forget a lot of people from Europe watching this. The wind is blowing from the northwest at 7 miles per hour and the current humidity is 54%. So there you go. Weather for Ravensdale, Washington. Glad you all got to hear that. Um, anything else I need to tell you about? Oh, tomorrow the stream is going to be shortened. I don't know how short, but I got to get off before I normally get off because I got stuff I got to do. So the video, if you're watching on YouTube, is going to be a little shorter. You may notice that. If we're streaming, if you're watching, it's going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, then what else? Uh, Saturday, there will be an extended three-hour stream featuring the one liter red dew. Next week, starting on Labor Day, for one week, and it'll be a short week because I'm, I'm getting married that week. Be a short week. I am going to play humans again, including on Labor Day. Will be a three-hour stream again featuring a red do, but this time will be humans. So I hope everyone's excited for that. I know humans isn't that popular of a deck right now, but I still enjoy it. So I'm going to play it. Uh, so let's go ahead. I am currently. What's up, Simic Atlantis? Glad you're here. Uh, I am going to go ahead and play here. I am currently one and two in this league. Um, the struggle continues. What is my current win-loss record in the last four leagues? 12? No, no, not 12. Duh. What is it? Five. Five and 13. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I'm getting married on uh, less than how many days now? Today's the second. Ten days. We get married in ten days. So uh, I'm pretty excited. We're all excited. It's been the first marriage in my side of the family since like 1990-something. So it's been a long time coming. My family's very small, so just nothing ever happens in the family. No one's been born in the family since 1994. So, you know, that's up to me. <laughs> you know, to end that streak, it sounds like. Uh, which I plan on. Probably next year I'll have a child. Pretty exciting, really. You know, hopefully become a dad and uh, teach him how to play magic if he's interested, or her, if he's a daughter. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. My life is, outside of Magic the Gathering, my life is pretty damn perfect. Magic the Gathering is the biggest roadblock in my life. And what can you say about that? <sighs> Generally don't enjoy these hands without a basic forest, but I'm willing to keep, just in case I find a blood moon, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep this. Okay, here it is. The Mountain Dew of Glory. Dew of Glory. Oh, I can get the cap back on. Okay, let's keep this. Let's shock. That's the problem, too. I got to take so much damage. I got to take four damage on the first two turns. Mulligan's to six. Punt, then wine. <laughs> that sounds like me, doesn't it? Punt, then wine. We got to get my emoji going. 
There we go. There's the punt and wine. <laughs> All right. A boreal grazer. Well, hmm. I think we just pillage here. I think we must want to pillage the bounce land. I think that's probably the right play. No, I know normally you want to go after basics, but hitting those bounce lands are pretty important. Ancient stirrings, gruel turf. This is what I'm talking about. I I need some green here. And I'm not gonna really get it. Alright, we'll cut we'll cut each elf off from green. Well he's got one green. Gotta see if I can't kill I can't draw another land here either. Start swinging with everybody. Really need to find another land now, so I can play this other pillage. Get them off that. Now I can get them off the snow-covered forest. This is a dryad. Yep. Can't find nothing, folks. All right, I mean, we just keep going here. I mean, I don't play nothing. It's got that damn basic, though. How about that? Losing immediately to this because I can't find another fucking land! I didn't go for another basic forest. Just dead. Just absolutely fucking dead. Fucking deck. Piece of shit. The fuck do you want me to do, deck? There's some forests. We're good now. Man, this deck sucks ass. This Ponza deck feels so shitty. Playing it every fucking day. Why not? Why not get another Titan? We're dead. I don't give a fuck. Fuck all this shit. Fucking just ass. Bring in boil, bring in cinder vines, bring in stone rain. There we go. Good job, asshole deck. You fucking sucked. Way to go, deck. Way to suck ass.
There was nothing I could have done differently there. I guess I could have played Bone Crusher Giant instead of the Magus. I don't think any of it would have mattered. I don't think a goddamn thing would have mattered. Pretty fucking slow. I do like the boil, but I'm gonna mulligan that. That's that's even worse. We're gonna mulligan again. We'll keep here. Uh, toss back Gargaroth and Bone Crusher. Beast. Interesting. Yes. More. He must have like a uh, I would assume he has, like, a uh, lightning bolt in hand or something. Yes! Mm, man, I love drawing back-to-back -back wooded foothills like that. That is just exceptionally fun. Get a basic mountain. Make him have the bolt. He doesn't have it. Looking good. This enchant the cinder vines can kill the dryad. So that's always cool. Karn the great creator, sure. Walking ballista. Alright. Bone Crusher. Okay, let's see here. If I attack the Karn, if I attack Karn, knock him to one, then and then I can so for him to do this he's gonna need how much mana I would assume he's got another land in hand so destroying a land here to try and keep Ballista from coming down doesn't make any sense so let's attack the Karn and then stomp the Karn Like so. Yep. Yep. 
Yep. Okay, so it looks like what he's going to do here is he's going to... Uh, Okay, that's actually not bad. So I don't really want to just attack here because he'll block the Bone Crusher and kill the Magus of the Moon anyways. So what I want to try and maybe do here... I don't want to stomp either. So if I kill this Simic Growth Chamber... You'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. He'd still have enough for. He would still have enough for the primeval titan, right? So if we go, yeah, I don't have enough mana to do everything I want to do. I guess we'll force him here. Do this. And then at least I can swing in for four. Okay, so do I want to stone rain here? So, probably want to take off this growth chamber. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's still got enough for the primeval titan. Doesn't really matter. I think maybe I want to get rid of the Talaria West. That way, if he gets bounce lands, he can't bounce this back and then transmute. So I think it, I mean, I can't keep him from casting a Titan. So I think I'm just going to hit the transmute. And hopefully do okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's six right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ancient stirrings, okay. Finds Amulet of Vigor. Plays Amulet of Vigor. Of course. Of course. I cannot win. Like, I, I cannot, I cannot defeat any opponent. It's frustrating as fuck. Yep. Uh, none I can draw to get out of this. So Gargaroth, it's all right. I suppose. Just got to find a couple mountains. All right, let's see how good this Gargaroth does.
Transmute? No, it can't be a transmute. Okay, so he's got the game. So he just found that. This thing attacks. It's the end of the game, I believe. Two will come in, right? Fuck, it does that much fucking damage. I guess because there's multiple Vala cuts. He can just play another land, so yeah, we're dead. I mean, I'm sure he's got another land. Why do the opponents always have such amazing cards? Yeah, we're dead. Why? You know, I mean... <laughs> I might have been okay there if he didn't have the Dryad. I just, I can't figure it out. It, it's like, I need to just stop playing Magic. I'm so sick and tired of this. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I did everything right, I think, there. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have done the Cinder Vines. Maybe I need to use Cinder Vines. Yeah, that's probably wrong, I guess. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. You know? I might as well just die. I mean, I say that every stream. I just don't feel like I'm worthy of playing the game. You know, I live a great life. I really do. But I suck ass when it comes to Magic the Gathering. Like, I think a lot of people would have committed suicide by now. When just trying to play this and be competitive and everything and you can't fucking win. This deck feels so weak now. Like, remember when Ponza used to feel really strong? It feels so weak now. The cat's out of the bag. Your ass is getting shot. Getting harpooned. And it just doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't. Uh, man, I hate mulliganing. I do. I feel like that might be one I need to, but I'll try mulliganing. Better. Mistress Bobble, uh, Death Shadow? Absolutely, Death Shadow. <laughs> Targets me? Sure. Well, he didn't like whatever card was on the top of his deck. Fuck, I'm telling you guys, I already got himself down to 13. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> I mean, these guys... Every time I play against them, they are just out of control. They have the best possible. He gets to draw two more cards. Two more cards, and I'm going to flounder here for multiple turns. Just straight up ass. Just unbelievable ass. Yeah, I mean, what a great fucking start for the Gr Grixis Death Shadow. Down to nine. Play two Death Shadows. Play them both. There's one. Play another one. Play another What the fuck are you doing? You play another one, dude. That's bullshit. You didn't play a second one? The fuck's wrong with you? I guess I'll get Forest. Chill? How can I chill? Everybody plays and wins so much more than me. I hop on here 
And I get my ass beat so bad that I don't even want to fucking be here. You know? It's frustrating. It's just absolutely frustrating. The only thing I can hope for now is somehow this guy fucks up and I can bolt him to death. That's it. That's my only route to victory here. He has a basic island. A sprite dragon, sure. Guess I just bolt the sprite dragon. No, that doesn't make any sense. I, I don't want to do that. Because it looks like he's holding up probably probably a uh, stubborn denial. So I'll just take the five here. If I try to bolt it. And then he stubborn denials it. Now I'm taking an additional damage and I lost the fucking card. So I'll take the five. And I'm going to try and... Try and mana screw him a little bit here. Probably got Bolt. What is this? Cling to dust? Okay. Draws a card. Of course! Why wouldn't the Grixis Deathshot player have Bolt Basics? I mean, do you know who you're playing against, motherfucker? You're playing against the most unlucky son of a bitch that's ever fucking played this fucking game. Can't take Blood Braid. That's the only good thing I got going for me. Sprite Dragon should be out of Bolt range. I just don't give a fuck anymore. I really don't. You know, I'm just tired of this. Every time I play, it's just an absolute fucking bloodbath. I don't even know what to do here. If I block... I mean, I might as well block. I mean, he's got both his basics already. Might as well just fucking block. I mean, he clearly has Stemmer Denial. Clearly. It's not a lot I can do here. I want to try and bolt that Sprite Dragon. Well, that's new. They used to never say that, I don't think, on the Ferocious. I don't remember that ever showing up. So, game's over. <sighs> I have no idea. I have no clue what I'm fucking doing here. I don't have a clue. Pillage is pretty bad here. Bailoff is pretty decent. Kitchen Finks and Scavenging Ooze I like. Go to that. Try to mull into Clothis. Clothis can be pretty bad in this matchup because it just auto makes the Death Shadow bigger every turn. You know? I don't see what Cinder Vines would, good would have done me there. I guess to try and rack up damage. Again, it, you know, it's a problem... 
against this deck is that we do damage to them like that through Cinder Vines, through Lightning Bolts, through Clothis, and it only empowers the Death Shadow. So I've struggled really bad trying to do this. So we're going to go one in fucking four in this league. That will be five straight leagues. I've gone two and three or worse. or No, four straight, not five. Not five yet. Um, I'm just sick and tired of it. You know, this deck is turned really bad. I've never have seen this deck perform well in, in like weeks. You know, for me to play five leagues or four leagues, that takes a couple weeks for me. Um, I mean, I can't keep this hand. I got to mulligan it. I'm going to mulligan this as well because I got to. All right, there we go. Now I gotta really gotta ask myself what to throw on the bottom. Obviously we wanna keep the lands and the ramp. And then what? Keep what creature? Probably have to probably have to put blood braid on the bottom. <laughs> oh my god. No, nah, I, I, we can't. So it, the problem with that is trying to keep the blood blade on turn two. This deck, Grixis Death Shadow, especially with the the Sprite Dragon version, they run four fatal pushes and probably four bolts in this one. You know, so I guess I could go get rid of Arbor just because I just said that. And I guess Ooze. Ooze is pretty weak here. So, pitch Ooze and Arbor. <laughs> I always read you guys late. Um, but that's what we got to do. Now, don't forget, this deck also runs four Thought Seizes and two Inquisition of Coslex. This deck is extremely strong. Nobody ever gives any respect to these Death Shadow decks. They say, oh, that's so 2000. 17 or 18, wherever the deck first showed up. Like, dude, guys, this is one of the strongest decks in the game, in my opinion. You know, the deck is insane. Of course, I suck with it. I played it for six months straight, and I think I had double the amount of losses I had with wins. I think I had, like, 60 wins, about 120 losses. Something like that. You know, Pawns is the only deck I have a winning record with. I think with Humans, I have one more win than losses. Ponza, at one point, I was uh, over 20 more wins and losses, and I think by the end of this week, I'll be lower than that. So he kept this up. I wonder what that's all about. Well, there's Arbor Elf. Guess I could turn two Pyro here. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it here and throw out the the arbor. And just see if I can't get greedy and uh, have him survive, and then uh, play a blood blood braid. So either we're gonna get fatal pushed or thought scour. It looks like thought scour. Mills into Mer Battle Rage. That could be good later for him or me. Street Wraith. So he's struggling. There's a land. So do we have Grix, uh, Gurmag Angler? It's the real question. Is it Gurmag Angler time? It certainly looks like it to me. Double Watery Grave. Yep, Angler's coming. Oh, I guess not. I guess a Fatal Push is coming. Okay, so Angler still coming? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, motherfucker, yeah! Alright, now I guess no choice but to season Pyro unless I drop top deck of land. 
I don't. So we'll just season pyro. I just can't wait around forever. Alright, I got some blockers. All right, is there a Death Shadow? Fuck yeah, come on now. Why wouldn't there be one? Let me go with Forest here, just to get a Garter off. Oh, I know Forest, that's exciting. I wonder, I wonder if he's holding Dismember. I could try attacking here. Does he have Dismember or Street Wraith? I could try to attack here. I mean, no. If I try to attack here, he'll just block. Or he'll just let him come through to make his Death Shadow bigger. So that doesn't make any sense. So I think I just need to play the Bone Crusher Giant. I'm guessing. You could also add Stubborn Denial, too, so it's probably best I didn't try to stomp. So, Bolt. Sure, that works out real well. This is what I'm talking about. This deck is extremely weak to this Death Shadow. What's happening? There we go. Sure. Another Death Shadow? Oh no, Fatal Push. Well, I mean, we blocked something here. Land. Kitchen Finks. That ain't half bad, I suppose. I mean, if he's got to Murbal Red, you win, so. Block. No Tamir. How about that? Another Death Shadow. Grimag Angler. Looks like we've got another Angler coming. Yep. There's Clothis, but just too late. What am I even continue to play for? I cannot win, guys. I, I swear to God. You know, I just, I cannot win. It's really frustrating. Uh, you know, I just don't understand. I can't figure it out. Why is it on humans? Uh, I can't figure it out. I can't. So this one I'm going to try. I, I came up with this last night. I'm going to try this build. Uh, three Pillage. Got the Magus of the Moons. I did a split here on the Glorybringers and Elder Gargaros. I got the sideboard here a little different. I'm going to try this. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter what I try anymore. I just, I, I have lost all confidence. You know, I had some confidence built up there for a little while that I was like a decent player. Like, okay, wow, I'm doing all right. But here today, I'm, I haven't won a game again. 
Um, you know, I, I just, I'm really depressed. I'm really depressed and I'm really struggling to find any meaning in my life right now when it comes to magic. I got a mulligan that. I can't keep this either. I'm going down to four. I'm going down to three. Keeping. Going down to three. So, we've already lost. Who gives a fuck anymore, right? Why do I even try to do anything? Choke over boil? I, I prefer boil right now. I don't know. You can make argument for either one. It doesn't really matter. Who gives a fuck about my opinion? Pillage, I'm dead. Nope, Clothes, okay. Alright, well. Pretty bad cards there. I mean, the Clothes is good, but the Magus of the Moon is really bad. It does. Bloodbraid Elf does hit Choke. That is true. See, I'm that shitty of a player, I can't figure that out, right? Probably a blood braid. No, a Chandra, even worse. That's much worse. Interesting. Decides to attack. Keep drawing ass cards. All right, let's hit that Chandra. Well, I appreciate that, but there's probably someone better you can watch. You know, I just, I'm, I'm so sick and tired of just being a fucking laughing stock. It's really frustrating. You know. Yeah, he should probably bolt me. Bolt my creature. I would if I were him. He's got a free red, so I would definitely, definitely bolt the Pyromancer. Yep. Blood right now. He's in Pyro. Okay. I mean, I'm mulling it down to three. At least he gives me stuff to eat with my clothes to stay alive a little bit.
Might as well play one. So I'm going to block the clothes if possible. Eh, I guess I'll block the season pyro if that works. Okay, we're just done. All right. Oh my fucking god. That's <laughs> so fucking bad. Uh, let's bring in the anger of the gods, the Baloth, and one cinder vines. So we'll try that. Just so bad, you know. I, I just don't understand why why it's so difficult. I just can't figure it out. I, I can't. I don't know. No, we got a mulligan. We're mulligan again. I I don't understand. Why why is this so fucking difficult? You know. Do that. Best I got. I mulliganed uh, six times in two games in this match. I get pillars this game's pretty much over. Yeah. Why why do I even put up with this, you know? I mean for real. Like why why do I even attempt to play Magic the Gathering? You know, I, I, I don't know what what else I can tell you guys. I, I just don't understand. Um, you know, I, I just don't get it. Like, why is this so difficult for me? Yeah, we'll just, we'll just, just call it good. You know, I, I don't understand. I just can't figure it out. What did I do wrong in that game? I had a mulligan down to three, game one. Now, could I have kept that opening hand of... Five lands, a Magus, and a Glorybringer. I didn't know I was against pawns at the time. Could I have kept it? I suppose. That hand would have killed me. Because Magus would be my first play. I, I just, I don't know what to say. So, so, in the last four leagues, I have won a total of five games. I'm 5-15. and 15. Now we add that one. I'm 5-16 and 16 in the last 21 games. Um... I, I may have to stop playing Magic, because I just, I can't let this just destroy my life. You know. I'm going to keep, just because I'm, I'm so sick and tired of mulliganing. 
I'm like, I'm, I'm just done with that fucking shit. I'm done with the mulligans. It's bullshit. People think this shit's funny. It ain't funny, dude. It ain't funny losing every single fucking match. Chalice on one. That's fine. I don't have. That's much better than I thought he was. I thought he was going to play for sure. Mattery Shaper. I'll take Chalice on one. What's happening? There we go. So I'm talking about folks, just only draw lands. I guess I'm pretty much guaranteed to get a Gargaroth here. Hopefully I can uh, stop them before they get a uh, Thought Knot Seer. Doesn't look like it. Thought Knot inbound. Here we go, motherfucker. Here we go. Here we go, motherfucker. Here we go. Just absolute shit. So, I mean, he's going to take the Magus of the Moon. Nah, he's got basic ways. Uh, he probably still wants to take Magus of the Moon. Yeah, I mean, Pillage makes sense because he can pretty much do just about everything he needs to do. Get another Forest. Jesus Christ. I guess we'll deck then. I'll take one more to get a forest. And play this Magus of the Moon and hope it can do something. Can't do worse, right? I mean, it's going to do something. It's going to knock him off of something, I hope. I mean, he'll have three mana, which if he plays another land, he could have another Thought Not Seer. I get that. What is the opponent doing here? Come on, dude. Just let me die. What is going on? Man, I felt like I had something in my mouth, but I didn't. Alright. So. See, he's got Dismember. He might have a Dismember here. I mean, next turn I'm Chandring. Barring as another land, and then uh, Thought Thought Sears me again. Another Thought Knot? How about another Thought Knot? Another Thought Knot. Take the Chandra. Oh, Walking Ballista. Alright, I mean... That's not the worst thing in the world. I do get the Chandra out to draw another card. And I am going to get a Gargaroth. Barring another Thought Knot Seer. Okay. Okay. Bolt. All right. I mean, I might as well attack, right? He can block. And it would die. I mean, fuck it. Get in there. <laughs> All right. We got two damage in, like, randomly as hell. Just gonna add a counter to Ballista. No, a Reality Smasher. All right, well, Gargaroth can take care of that. Oh, I can't even play the Bolt. I'm glad I remembered that. 
cannot play the Bolt or the Arbor Elf. So I would assume he's going to pump up the walking ballista, killing the Magus of the Moon. I'll attack. It's kind of an interesting game going here. So next turn, definitely season pyro. Another reality smasher. Oh, Ugin the Ineffable. They always have the best cards. Every single chance they have the absolute best of the best of the best of the best cards. There is no other way to describe this. None. None. Like that is straight up nuts that they had the very best card. I can't fetch. It's it's a shock. It, it's a basic mountain, I mean. I I don't know what I can draw here to get out of this. You know. So let's swing at Let's swing at the the Ugin. That that scavenging ooze was pretty good. Because it at least gets me up to three. Not Ugin down. Thought not. No, it's fine. I don't blame you. A lot of times, I do that myself a lot of times, where I'm like, oh. So, we'll have to see here. He is still top decking. Kind of an interesting spot he's in. Another Ugin. That's incredible. That's incredible. That is incredible. So I'm still technically alive. Because I double block. Here. I got a triple block actually. We go like so. And then I've got to draw like another season pyro. <laughs> uh, I don't, I mean, I got to get another like scavenging ooze here. Unable to. Yeah, he can just pump that up, so we're done. All right, I mean, I cannot beat anyone. I haven't won a game yet today. Uh, I, I don't know what, what to say. You know, I don't. Uh, I'll take out the bolts and bring in the oofy and the cinder vines. All that good.
nobody even watches this shit, so it's kind of funny I do this stuff, you know. I mean, I know you're here at MPS, but nobody else watches this. Yeah. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. So painful. You know, I look outside and it's a nice day. You know, what am I doing in here? Mulligan. Keep. How many stomping grounds there are. Holy shit. Throw one stomping ground back. What did I mulligan down to last game? Five? I think it was five. Okay, well that's good. We got got him off of that with the collector oof. Okay, another pillage. It's good. Hopefully that'll stall him a little bit. Thought not seer, you better fucking believe it. That's okay. Pretty thought not proof hand here. I mean, you gotta take the magus, I would assume. I could just get beaten down by this thought not seer though. At this point. So, I, I'm just going to take a lot of damage from Thought Knots here. I might lose the game just taking damage the entire time. Yeah. He's got a reality, I mean not a reality smasher, a... Uh... Okay, let's think about this. Yeah, I think I just gotta do this. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, I, 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 I have no idea what to say here. I'm going to call a mental health hotline probably because of this. I mean, what else can I do? He's got to find another land. He's got to find a couple more lands to do that. This one on top. Another Urza's mine. Why did he grab that? What am I missing? Cast that bone crusher. Uh, no attacks. Gotta try and defend here. At least I got something. Did not use the tome. That's interesting.
If I could get another land, I can play this Glory Bringer. I have to worry about a Walking Ballista now. Another Thought Knot. No, oh, Ballista on two. Well, there goes that plan. Pump the Ballista, kill, eh, that doesn't make much sense either. Chalice on one, interesting. Spatial Contortion. Oofy might be okay. Draws a card. Still just hanging on for dear life here. One, two, three, four, five. So he's got five mana. I don't know why he grabbed it and Urza's mine. I'm a little confused by that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. How about a land for a top deck? How about a land? How about no? <laughs> this will turn on the Clothis, though. So that's good. Oh, shit, never mind. It won't because of the Chalice. I forgot. Chalice will still activate. So I just wasted that, but that's okay. Because we're just sitting here. Not doing much. So all his dust is ready. Is it here? Is the all his dust here? Absolutely. You get better believe it. And that is the game. Yep. All right, guys. I haven't won a game today. I'm 0-4. Uh, that's eight straight losses in a row. Um, like I said, I think I might have to call a mental health hospital after this. You know, it's just, it's bad. I mean, what? Who can handle this? I mean, I'm playing a fine deck here, allegedly, and it just, it seems really bad. I have not seen somebody with this one before. I don't think I can keep double basic forest. I'm going to try it, though. I think I can find red by turn three. I hope. Another Death Shadow, probably. Or not. What the hell is this? Oh, my God. There's a red. Slither Blade. What on earth is this? I guess we'll bolt it. Why not? Bolt it? I got it. I bolted that. I thought about not bolting it for a second. But, nah. Bolt it. Alright, we got a play here. 
I didn't want to throw out the ooze that soon, but, you know. I'll be able to play Bloodbraid next turn if this Arbor Elf survives, so that's good. And... Here you control. Each opponent mills two cards. Okay, got rid of Magus and Wood of As long as the opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyards. It has Death Touch. Okay, I've, I've seen this card. I've pulled this card many times from packs, but I've never seen someone play it. Thieves Guild Enforcer. Fatal Push. You got it. I have no idea what I'm playing against here. Looks to be some sort of, like, mill deck or something. Man. My dog out there. <laughs> Sometimes I make funny noises. Alright, so here we have Clothis. I guess. I like playing Clothis here. Right, eat my own grave with Clothis. Absolutely. That's what we're looking at here. Um, as long as Clothis somehow doesn't go away, like he plays the fairy or something, to bounce it back, I will be playing Bloodbraid next turn. I'm going to eat this Wooded Foothills. Unless I draw a land, because you never know, maybe I'll actually top deck good once. I don't know what I'm playing against here, but it seems pretty weak. But I'm probably going to get destroyed randomly and suddenly by it, which is always most exciting. Whenever a rogue control attacks and isn't blocked, it gets plus two, plus two, plus one. And this this milled, right? So yeah, we gotta eat a land here, so we'll eat the wooded foothills. Say red. And uh Let's go, Blood Raid! Yeah! Whenever a rogue you control attacks, it is not blocked. Okay, and I've got five cards in my grave. So I can almost get Gargaroth. I think I still want to play the Blood Braid, though. What is this thing? Stink Drinker. That sounds pretty fucking gross. Oh, you can play it for less if you have a creature that is a rogue or a goblin. Huh. I don't know if I've ever seen Prowl before. He played, at least. Yeah, I can do that. I can, I can eat a land and, you know, go to town here. All right. Another push. My God, dude. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Three pushes in the top 12? Yes. I'm taking seven here. All right, well, I guess if I draw a land, I'll eat a land and uh, play Gargaroth. Nope. I'm still eating a land to play this Blood Braid. Just do red. Scavenging ooze, I like. Alright. Yeah, this thing doesn't have death touch yet. I have to draw a land to play that. That Gargaroth. I 
This has been the most competitive game, probably, because I'm playing against some extreme trash here. So what is my record now through... How many leagues is this? Five? Five leagues now? I, don't, I just want to win a game. I mean, I don't even know what winning a game feels like anymore. What is this? Some sort of sick bluff? I mean, I got a block. Drown the lock, sure. Wow, what a play. What a play. Yep. What a play. Another pillage. I think at this point, so how many do I got in there? 12? Maybe eat a land. Make play ooze. Eat a land. Make green. Play ooze. And then eat stuff. Eat the Arbor Elves. All right. I mean, this is still looking pretty bad. <laughs> oh, my God. No more fatal pushes. No more removal, dude. Stop with the nonsense. I think I just blocked this thing. Well, I just block. If I don't block it, I go down to eight. So I'm I'm willing to block here. It's got one card left in hand. So more cards in their graveyard. Okay. Well. Alright, well. How about a land? <laughs> Holy fuck. I just don't believe what I'm seeing. Sure, thought seeds. Take a look at those. I mean, there goes my Gargaroth. I have all three pillages out of the deck. I think I drew them all in a row there. It's just a gargoyle, right? It's not a rogue? Okay. Oh, two of them. Alright, well. That's flying, so I can't even block it. It's fine. Uh, funny enough, until that other gargoyle was there, 
stomping ground. So I'm going to pillage and kill one of the one of the gargoyles. It's an artifact. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to go back down to 10, back down to 5. But we got to do what we got to do, right? Oh, I should have played that. I could have saved life, couldn't I? Yeah, that's why I'm shitty. Uh, yeah, let's kill this guy. Yeah, I could have saved two life there. I could have played that tapped and then untapped it. But at this point... Just have to hope he doesn't get another one of those. Another gargoyle. Okay. I will block there. Swift Heath. Weird game. Pretty entertaining though, I gotta admit. I'm I'm entertained here. Just no more gargoyles. Well I guess if you play another gargoyle, I'll just kill it too. Down to six. Back up to seven. All right, I want a game. Holy shit, I want a game. Oh my god, I want a game. All right, Relic, you gotta come in, man. You're the best card by far. Cinder Vines, I like here. Maybe Boil. Oh, the man felt so sad for me, he just threw away the match. All right, well, there's a win, folks. I want a match. One and four today. Oh my god. This is crazy. Yeah, I probably should run two chokes instead of two boils. Two one. I used to do that, but someone said that I should be running multiple boils now. But yeah, I probably should be running two chokes. I didn't even think about that, the cascade. That's how bad I am. Sure, we can keep that. And I'm going first for the first time today in game one. That's incredible.
That is nuts. He couldn't beat you on a slow draw, so he had no chance on a nut draw. Oh, oh you're talking if I had a nut draw. Okay, <laughs> like, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's probably true. What? What's going on, opponent? Not have a land? What's happening here, opponent? This isn't vintage dredge. There it is, polluted delta. More death shadow? No? Eh, eh. A little bit of leg here. Okay. Triome. Look at that crazy looking triome. Zagoth Triome. That's Swamp Forest Island. Does, that does not look anything like a swamp. Oh, we got a crab. It looks like we got... Well, that's getting bolted. And how about a lightning bolt for you? Another graveyard-style deck. No, my blood braid. Damn it, I was going to top deck... Well, no, I'm going to fetch, so... Who knows? I am going to play Chandra Torch of Defiance next turn. That's good. When you're playing Gargaross, you always want to make sure you have two basic forests at all times, if possible. That way, in case you get Blood Moon, you can actually play cards. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Wow, he had two? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright. <sighs> A spell pierce in there. Look at that shit. Look at that weird ass spell pierce too. What the fuck is happening there? Is that like Dumbledore? Like hella stupid Dumbledore? Well, I don't know if I really want to play the season pyros. <laughs> if I can draw a land, you know, I still got a few lands left in the deck, I think. You feel the rune here? No. Man, I really don't know if I should play a season pyro. I'm only down to 19 cards left in deck. Season Pyro, I'll go down to 17. If I draw a fetch land, I go down to 16. Let's put pressure on him. Play that. Play Season Pyro. There's no guarantee I'm going to draw land or nothing. Glory Bringer is quite good. Of course, I get another Season Pyro. <laughs> but we're willing to risk it for the biscuit here. I'm down to 17 cards. Of course, he could just feel the ruin here, which I think he's going to. Sure. That's.
That's not good. <laughs> Shocks himself. Assassin's Trophy. Well, that makes it so I can't... I think I'm out of red. What's happening here? There we go. Pretty sure I'm out of red here. Okay, let's go from the top here. So I'm looking for a stomping ground. One, two, three, four. Yes, all three are in there, so I cannot play any double red. Um, I am locked out of double red for the rest of the game unless I get a run in six. Do I still have access to run in six? What do you know? I still do. I still have Renin 6 in there. So I'm going to deck out just from attacking, it looks like. But, you know, this is the only way to win. I mean, I, I got to do 5 damage. Just can't, can't tap here. He's got to put a blocker down. Yeah, so at this rate, if he can't put a blocker, if he can't put a blocker, okay, we're dead. Okay. All four of my bolts are gone. Yeah, he gains life. So we're just dead. Let's go ahead and concede. It's over. Uh, I, I have no idea what to do here. Um, maybe boil and choke. Cinder Vines is good. Pillage. I don't know. I don't really like Boil here. Um... Take these pillages. Ah, eh, the pillage can get rid of the the artifact, right? I have no idea what to do. And we'll just take those out. Go with that. No, Mulligan. We'll keep out of extreme desperation. And this, I should have actually brought in all my, I should have brought in my entire sideboard. <laughs> I really should have. I think I've seen Reed Duke do that. He brings his entire sideboard in against this deck. Yeah, I guess I should have cut the pyro, shouldn't I? But I have no idea what I'm doing. So. I took out my Gargaroth, so I don't need to worry about double green.
Okay, we'll see how many traps I get hit by, or whatever that, that thing's called. Let's find out. I know there's some coming. No? Huh? Hmm? Try Magus, see how he does in this matchup. Wow, Aether Gust. Uh, I guess we put. Put him on top. Let's try him again. He'll probably just mill him off. Old hideaway. Look at there. Yep, there goes the uh There we go. Magus Magus land. Okay, I got blood braid next turn, no matter what happens here. I guess minus, like, not even an abrupt decay. Oh man, I'll have to see how this goes here because Leaving the forest and sprawl and arbor elf tap down for the blood braid might be really bad. Unfortunately, I can't untap the stomping grounds right now because of uh, the, the, you can't stop the untap step, you know. So uh, if arbor elf was was not summoned sick, I could make it so I. I have to mill one less. Yep. Sure. So I'll be milling a lot here. Goes four, Clothis, Arbor Elf, Season Pyro, and Sprawl to get a land. Oh, yes, Cinder Vines, perfect. Shit. All lands? What the fuck? 
an aether gust. I guess that's all right. So if I kill one of these orbs, I'm going to take, I'm going to mill one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I forgot the sprawl doesn't untap. I, I thought it tapped, but I guess it does not. <laughs> What, an Uro suddenly? I've never seen him play this card. What the fuck, man? Oh my fucking god. You've got to be kidding me. Well, now i got to find Scavenging Ooze. How many scavenging do I got left? Both still. Okay. Yep. Yep, I knew that was coming. So I'm at 17. I'm going to go down to 12 and lose this game. Ooze. I need ooze right now. Couldn't get ooze. Do I have any ooze left? No. So we we died. I, I can't I can't kill the Uro now. So I'm just gonna concede. Can he get the Uro back out? No, he can't. He can't get Uro back out. So let's just attack here. Right? Am I, I'm not missing anything, right? He can't get it back out right now. I wonder what this hideaway card is. So I got 11 cards left in deck. Alright. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. Um, I won one game all day. Um, that's all I can say. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to call some sort of help helpline because of this. And by helpline, I mean, I'm going to call Wizards of the Coast and tell them that you know, their game sucks, I guess, because I can't win. I, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. It didn't matter. It didn't matter, dude. You're way behind. Um, so, um, that's going to be it for today. I'm done. I don't want to play anymore. 
I might as well finish this league. Fuck it, I'll play one more, alright? I'll play one more. Just to finish this league off. Because I, I don't want to, I mean... You know, I, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. I cannot win. I only won that match because the guy gave up. He left. I, I don't know what happened there. Uh, I don't even know I could have legitimately beaten him. I had to beat him at least one more game. I might have not been able to. And one of my other wins I have from the previous four leagues is the same exact situation. So really I've only won three matches in the last few leagues. Uh, so what am I up to now? Five? I don't know. I, I, I don't understand. But, you know... don't get it remember when I actually used to be able to win games what happened to that I'll keep it is keepable Oh, looks like we got ad nauseum here. That's exciting. I would assume this is ad nauseum. The only good thing is he didn't start with the damn Lotus, whatever it is, Lotus Bloom. Is that what I'm thinking of? Lotus Bloom? Not Black Lotus, not Lotus Petal. All right. We play the ooze. We are going to do the traditional curve out. That's what we're going to do. Is he doing a fastest oracle here? Phyrexian on life. Well, I can't do anything about that. That's pretty fucking good there. That's actually pretty fucking sweet. I've never seen Magus be so effective against this deck. You believe in me even if I'm down on myself? Dude, I'm down on myself. Like, the only way I'm down on myself is playing Magic the Gathering. I just I get so frustrated. You know, I was watching other guys play this very same deck, and they're doing well, and they're winning and laughing, and, and here I am struggling every day. And I wonder, I wonder, oh, there's Lotus Bloom. Seeming Spirit Guy, we can kill that. Yeah, I want I want to bolt that and then play the Clothis. So we'll bolt. Attack with bolt. Play Clothis. Another spirit guide? Sure. There's Gargaroth. So I... There's no land for me to eat. Damn it. No land. Okay. I'll eat the Serum Visions, I guess. Um...
stomp. Attack with both. Play the Bone Crusher. Is this another fucking Simming Spirit Guide? I mean, he's got to find a basic, right? Is that how this is going to work? Um, I'm sure I'll eat my own bolt here. Angel's Grace requires one white, right? It has to be a white mana. All right, come on, Blood Braid. You betcha. Everyone attack. Yep, BB turned on Clothus. No, oh, he he can he can do this. He can he can pentad prism, get white and save himself here. But that won't make any sense. He'll just die instantly as soon as his turn starts. So I think this is lethal. Seven, eleven, thirteen, sixteen. I don't think it's quite lethal yet. Yeah, see, we got to do a another turn of this. So here comes this Lotus Bloom. See, it happens. One black. Spoils of the vault. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. He just does fast as Oracle. So now we're going to lose this game. He's got the Lotus Bloom. Um, really bad here. Yep. There we go. All right, well, I'm going to be right back. I hear my dog. I'm going to go check on him real quick. Actually, first, I'm going to side real quick. I'm going to try and remember what I wrote down. Because I when I was doing so bad that I'm just like, you know, Clothus. Probably a glory bringer. And then bring these in. All right, now I'll be right back.
right, guys, I'm back. I just wasted about a minute exactly. We're going to mulligan here. That is terrible. That is also terrible. That's better. So do I get a basic forest here? Probably. Man, this guy again did not have Lotus Bloom. Yeah, I think I just want to get forest here. Sure. What is happening here? Oh wow, does he already have it? Oh my god. Wow. Wow, he beat me on turn fucking three without ever needing anything. Wow, dude, that's crazy. So I won uh, hardly anything today. So we're done here, folks. Uh, the deck really sucks. Uh, we're just done. Uh, that's it for today. I'll be back on tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time for more ass beating. Um, I, I don't know what to tell anybody here. I just cannot... <laughs> I cannot figure out what to do. I just cannot win. I guess there I should have killed the um, Pentad Prism. But I still don't think that would have worked. I don't know. So... Anyways, guys, I, I don't know. I'll have to watch the video again. I don't think it would have worked. I think I still would have lost because then I've been stuck on two mana still. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed today's content. It's really bad again. Um, like I said, I may have to commit myself to a mental institution uh, pretty soon just because of how games are going, you know? I mean, it doesn't make any sense why I'm losing so bad. Um, if you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing. I don't know why the fuck you do that, but I'd appreciate it if you did anyways. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time, like I said. Uh, I'm going to remind everyone to stay safe, keep washing your hands, and uh, doing what you do. And I will, uh, you know, wear a mask and social distance, all that stuff, because of coronavirus, and just in general, I guess. And, uh, all right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for more ass beatings. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. I'm just giving up at this point. I'm just saying fuck this. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, everybody. Peace.